Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my summer makeup look. I've been using this uh, lately. It's just a pretty much a uh, bronzed golden eye and a bronzed cheek. So let's get started. Excuse my face. <laughs> So first of all, we're going to start on a clean face and I'm going to prime my face using the Makeup Forever Step 1. This actually um, hides and erases any any um, pores that I have or any fine lines and it actually works wonders. Then I'm going to be using the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation which is it to last 24 hours. And this is actually going to be lasting me for a very, very long time. So pretty much it's my sweat proof, stay proof, lock in place makeup. So with a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to blend all over my face, under my eyes, on my lids, pretty much a little bit on the neck just to even everything out. I'm going to let that foundation dry and when I dry it, I'm actually going to start on my eyebrows. Now, me and my eyebrows have a love and hate relationship. One day they are on fleek, the other day they are just plain and simple, horrendous. So just pretty much work with your eyebrows the way you want them to work with. And just pretty much move on with your life. And if you're comfortable with them, this will be it. So please do not judge my eyebrows on this look. Because for me, it was just a little hard to get them exactly how I want. So here I am actually applying a little bit of more foundation. And the one I'm using is the NARS All Day Lightweight Luminous Foundation. And I'm combining two all day wear foundations to make that trick. So after I apply that, I actually spray the Pro Matte Infallible uh, Setting Spray before I actually apply anything else to my face. So while that actually is setting on my face, I go in and start applying makeup to my eyes. I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I am using on my lid and all over my crease the golden color. For some reason, the clip was cut. And then with a pretty much a buffing brush, I'm taking that light brownish color cream to color, I would say. And I'm just blending that all over my crease. And I'm just blending away. That's all I'm doing right now. That's pretty much it to the eyes. And I'm using the color cream from the Lorac Mega Pro Palette. Using that as my brow, my, I'm sorry, my brow highlight. Then I am using my black eyeliner and I love this one because I can actually smudge it and make it look like a smoke out color. And I think I'm pretty sure this is a Rimmel um, black eyeliner. So I'm just applying it very close to my lash line. And then with that smudge tip, I'm going in and smudging the line just to make that smoke out effect on my eyes. So here I am applying my concealer. I'm using the Amway Artistry Concealer. I love this concealer. It's extra creamy and definitely covers very well. And then I'm going in with my uh, Rimmel uh, Dark Circle Eraser Concealer. And I'm applying the triangle under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and a little bit of course my forehead. And then with a damn beauty blender, I'm just blending everything away. And then I'm going in with a shade and light Kat Von D palette with the color banana. I'm actually just setting it my under eyes with the banana color first and then that light a powder actually just to pretty much set everything else in place and bring me a little bit of light. Then I'm grabbing those two colors that you see that grayish bronzer and then that other bronze color and I'm contouring in the hollow parts of my face pretty much and I'm actually going to bring it a little bit upwards because all I'm doing is bronzing my face and then a little bit on the temples of my face. And this is a completely extra step. You can contour your nose if you feel like it. I do, I just have a problem with my nose. <laughs> so, and here I am just applying a little bit of bronzer to the areas where you apply bronzer because it's pretty much a bronzed out look. Now this is the trick. The Revlon Bronzing Palette, I don't know if they still sell it, but with a buff, with a bronzing brush, I apply it all over my face and that gives me like that sort of highlight glow effect on my face. Now, completely extra step. I do like to apply lashes. It just makes a huge of a difference on your eye makeup. And I'm using the Ardell Wispies. Always measure your eyelashes before applying them. And pretty much I'm just here applying my lashes. Again, it's a completely extra step. If you want, you can just apply mascara and be done with it. But as you can see, it's a huge difference. I'm just putting setting them in place, making sure that they are in its place. And then I'm going to apply a liquid black eyeliner just to pretty much hide the lash line. 
Now, it was supposed to be a little bit, but for some reason, I kind of got overboard on one of the eyes. So I actually had to uh, make it a little bit darker. But it actually does not look this dark when I'm doing it on my everyday look type of thing. So with that uh, liner again, I'm just going to apply a little bit onto that bottom part of my eye and then smudging it away to, again to create that smoke out effect. And I'm going back in and retouching my eye makeup. Usually when you wear my, um, when you wear falsies, it kind of tends to wash off your eyes. So pretty much I just go back in there and just pretty much retouch my eye makeup. That golden on the lid and that soft creamy color on the crease. And with that golden color that I have on my lid, I actually apply a little bit on the bottom of my eyes. And just pretty much setting my makeup with the powder from the Kat Von D palette. And now to mascara, you can use any mascara you like. I am currently using the Maybelline Sensational Mascara, and I'm pretty much obsessed with it. Please, ladies, do not forget your bottom lashes. I think it makes an absolute difference when you're when you're doing your eye makeup. Okay, I am almost done. Now for my lips, I'm using the Rimmel. Uh, I think it's called Brown Tanned Liner. And I'm pretty much outlining my lips. Sort of lately, I've been feeling into outline my lips. It kind of gives me that Kylie Jenner effect without all that drama. <laughs> and I'm using two colors. I'm using Milani uh, Naked and Milani Innocent. I'm applying Naked first and then Innocent. And that is it. I actually just said everything. And ladies, important step. Spray that spray on your face because it's going to make your makeup a last. That is actually what makes my makeup last longer throughout the days and here it is sorry the camera is kind of like making it blur i apologize but i hope you enjoy the look it's pretty much a very simple bronzed out look and it's very effortless i would say it doesn't really take me that long to make my makeup so i hope you guys like it and let me zoom out so you guys can see a little bit better there we go <laughs> so i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys like the tutorial and found it helpful i will link all the information i use and products down below Thank you, as always, a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Mwah! Beso